Shangtang, the eastern region of Ladakh, bordering China, scattered on a huge flat land situated at an average height of 4,500 meters above sea level. The region is inhabited by nomads called Changpa, an important pastoral community of Ladakh. The Changpas of Ladakh have so far retained their ancient way of life, moving from one pasture to another with their livestock, in spite of hardships and many, many problems. Large herds of yak, sheep, goats and horses form the basis of their livelihood. Within Changtang, they can be spotted from a distance by the ribos, black yak hair tents pitched with the help of small but firm wooden poles, which cannot be replaced easily as the region is barren and wood is scarce. Changpas are devoted to their families and flocks. They are Buddhists, socially active and love music and dancing. Their social contacts are confined to Rebo dwellers. Their tents are adequately furnished with sheepskin mats and their day-to-day -day provisions stored in goatskin mats. The winter months are comparatively harsh and ruthless for the nomads of Changtang. Temperatures go down to minus 30 to minus 40 degrees below zero centigrade. And they compel the nomads to come down to the sunny open fields. In winter, their cattle survive on tough, dry grass. And if the winter is severe, many animals die of cold or lack of fodder. Changpas endlessly move from one place to another in search of good grazing land for the animals. This tendency of regular migration from valleys to mountains and mountains to valleys becomes a reason in keeping the Changpas children deprived of education. Government open mobile schools but fail to sustain the effort. In order to ensure children of these nomadic communities their right to education, the Ladakh Autonomous Hill Development Council, Leh, has taken a novel initiative of opening a centralized residential school at Puga in 2004. This, for children from the nomadic areas of Samad, Rokchan, Korsog, Angchung, Katle, Chumur, Kuyul, Somdo, and from Chumathang and Mahi of Rong, Churgyud area. In the beginning, Changpas were reluctant to send their children to the school and enrollment never crossed 70 despite good infrastructure, boarding 
and lodging facilities at Puga. A dramatic change with a positive momentum has been witnessed in the Puga centralized residential school during the last two years. As a result of efforts put in by a team of dedicated staff led by headmaster Wangchok. In a short span, there was a significant improvement in the overall performance of the school after they attempted to overhaul the boarding, lodging and school system.